21 year old senior on a college dean's list when I realized that nobody really thought that women could have it both ways. I worked hard to earn my degree because that's how I apply myself to everything. And so when I was acing my communication law class, my professor called me in and it was one of those moments where you're like, dun dun dun, cause she was the kind of professor that everyone talked about being so tough. Ooh, balsam cedar, this might be my next one. Anyway, so I get called in. I remember taking off my backpack, setting it down in front of my feet. She sat in her chair across the desk and she looked at me and she said, where are you going to law school? I'm not going to law school. Well, where are you going for your master's then? I wanna write you a letter of recommendation. Flattering, having the tough professor give you props, but it was in that moment that I knew things were gonna go downhill because I knew she wasn't going to like my answer. See, not only was I not planning on going to law school, I wasn't planning on going on to get my master's degree. I was planning on graduating with my 4.0 and going immediately back to the little farm my husband and I lived on and having a family. Legit. That was my dream and I was going to go after it with as much determination as I did my studies. But that professor, she looked me dead in the eye and said these exact words. So why the hell did you even bother to go to college? don't remember any of the rest of that conversation. I remember picking up my backpack, throwing it over my shoulder and turning around to leave and knowing that I was never going to talk about my dreams to anyone in the academic setting ever again. I couldn't be trusted with them. In her eyes, I was throwing away my intelligence, my smarts, my brain. Because I made good grades, she automatically assumed that career woman was the path that I was going to take and she assumed wrong. That's when I had two kids, two and a half years apart, and I stayed home and had a little work from home type graphic design business, but I wasn't done yet. Because that college professor was right about one thing. There was a whole lot of potential up here, and there's a whole lot of potential up here for you too. Just because you started out your journey as one thing, doesn't mean you have to finish it exactly the same as what you started. You don't have to let someone else dictate what your dreams look like. Sometimes I dream about making a video without one of the dogs barking right in the middle, but we can't always have what we want, can we? My professor equated becoming a mom and a wife on the level of throwing your life away. But I think being a mom and a wife made me a better businesswoman. Because six years ago, I started a sales copywriting business. And in the first year, I made a quarter of a million dollars by myself, zero to $250,000 in a year. Hmm. 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 Mama, your dream matters no matter what it looks like. It could look completely different than anyone else's on the planet and I'm here to tell you it is valid, important. Don't let anyone else tell you that the way you want to do things can't be done. Because I'm proof positive that you can do things the exact opposite of what the world tells you and still be a success. And I don't just mean a successful businesswoman or entrepreneur. You can have kids and be a wife and work from home or not work from home. And if your kids are fed, healthy, happy, and you're fulfilled, then that's a success. I think back on that meeting with that professor sometimes, and I'm really proud of 21 year old Krista, who didn't let someone else's opinion of her plan really dampen her enthusiasm for what she knew was her calling. I'm telling you so that you can see your dream in that, no matter what it looks like. Hello for more tips if you're interested in starting a freelance copywriting business where you can work from anywhere and write your way to freedom.